Was the 2011 slam dunk contest rigged for Blake Griffin to win? This was the year Blake did his infamous dunk over a car hood. But before we talk about that dunk, should Blake have even made it to the final round? You be the judge. DeMar DeRozan was the first dunker of the night. It took him four attempts to make his first dunk, earning him a score of 44. Through the legs, a nice finish. The pass is finally on point, right underneath. Next up was Serge Ibaka, who recreated MJ and Dr. J's dunk from the free throw line, which only earned him a surprising score of 45. Under that, oh, Dr. That's Dr. Than Dr. Dr. J. JaVel McGee was up next, and even though it took him five attempts to make his first dunk, it still earned him a 50 for what many fans say was the real dunk of the night. I'm sorry, Dwight. I don't know. Huh? I don't know if there's anyone else on the planet that can do this. That's impressive. Finally, it was Blake's turn. And of course they had to make him go last since he was the favorite coming into the contest. He would score a 49 for his first dunk, which he made on his third attempt. You've got to have the hype, man. And he's talking about shut the building down. That's what Blake Griffin's trying to do on his that's first a, dunk. That's a good second place dunk. DeMar's second round dunk was his best of the night, earning him a score of 50. Yet it wasn't enough to secure him a spot in the final round since the NBA had to make sure Blake made it to the final. This is as impressive as they come. Wow. His head. Ibaka also didn't do enough to make it to the final round. His second dunk earned him a score of 45. Look at that. That's he got pretty a, good. He got a 45, so gotta, he's got So you gotta concentrate by yeah, opening your mouth. The man Blake would be competing against in the final was McGee, who pulled out a three ball dunk in the second round, which he made in five attempts and earned him a score of 49, solidifying his spot in the final round. Yeah. I might have a type of collar. He is holding on to the he rim. He is holding on to the rim. Now for the man who was guaranteed a spot in the finals regardless of what his opponents did. It would take Blake seven attempts to make his second round dunk. And don't be intimidated by Dwight over here. No, not at all. He's he, not making this dunk. He can't do this He's dunk. not making this dunk. No way. Plan B, like I told you. This is the one. This is the one. This, one. this is the one. This is his seventh try. But luckily for him back in 2011, players weren't penalized for how many attempts it took them. 46. We got a 46. I tell you what, the kid is impressive. He is. I tell you what. The final was set, Blake versus McGee. Both players put up very impressive first dunks in the final round. <laughs> that's, your, that's your stripper name. Look at this right here. Look at the super slow and look at the arm extension. That's right there at the crease of the elbow. Oh man, that's, nice. that's yeah. impressive. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. impressive. Against taller guys. That's a hard dunk to that, do. That's right a there. very hard dunk. Oh, look at look that. Meaning. Oh, that's yeah. nice. It's important to note at this point the judges were no longer in charge of the scoring. For the final round this year, the NBA would have fans vote online for who they want to win, which ultimately made it more of a popularity contest. Now for Blake's final dunk, which is what this year's contest was ultimately remembered for. They brought a car onto the court, which Blake was apparently going to jump over. To say they hyped up this dunk was nothing short of an understatement. There are things that could help you, but tonight this car is nothing but an obstacle. For some reason, Kenny Smith gave an inspirational speech beforehand, and a choir came out to inspire Blake. A year prior to this, the NBA had just signed a deal with car company Kia, which of course was the car they would have Blake jump over. And in the months leading up to the dunk contest, Blake was in many Kia car commercials. My Optima was ranked most appealing midsize sedan by JD Power & Associates. This pretty much made the dunk contest this year just one big ad for Kia. Plus the dunk was pretty underwhelming in itself as Blake only jumped over the hood of the car. You know what? I hate to say this. That wasn't the greatest dunk. Somehow McGee had to follow that, and he ended up doing a fairly simple off the backboard dunk. So he should have done a Blake, huh? Copied him? No, his whole arm, not just the elbow. Look at that. Blake, of course, won with 68% of fan votes, but the real winners of this contest were definitely Kia, 